is Trisha again with Pearls Crochet. Today we're going to be learning a special spike stitch for the February crochet along. Uh, this pattern is from Bethany Dearden with Whistle and Ivy. So we're going to start out by doing a sample stitch that's going to take us through the progression of the rows on this hat. We'll be doing a row three times of double crochet and then we'll go into our specialty stitch. So we've finished our three rows of double crochet. Now we're ready to join our next color to start our spike stitch pattern. I'm going to chain up one before turning my work and then we're going to start um, our pattern. I'm going to do one and then I will walk you through. So we're going to start with a half double crochet. We're going to skip a stitch and then below this next stitch we're going to connect our spike. So that's one, two, and three. Then we're going to skip a stitch. I'm going to do two half double crochets. And that will be our pattern repeat. If you have any trouble trying to figure out which stitch to drop these down into. You can also just count your double crochets here. There's one, two, three, four. And this fifth one here will be the one we go down into. So for this pattern repeat, after you do your two half double crochets, you will skip a stitch and then over this stitch here, we're going to do our three half double crochets but we're going to connect them one row below the top of the prior rows double crochet. We're going to have one. Keep that yarn loose so you're not bunching up your fabric. Two. And three. So these three stitches at the top are gathered at the bottom. But at the top, they do spread over three stitches. So that's why we're skipping one here. We're building that stitch together over the center one. And then this last one covers up uh, the stitch that you skip before you do two more half double crochets. So we're gonna skip one. One. Two half double crochets. If you're not sure where to put your next stitch, you can count one, two, three, four. This next one is where those will go in. You're going to skip a stitch. And then just below here is where you'll go in to the prior row. Okay, so we're at the end of our row. This is what your pattern's going to look like. Um, so we're going to do the next two rows of double crochet, and that's it. Mm -hmm.